Okay, we've come up to another place where snakes spend the winter. Another hibernacula. This one's um, mostly full of racers. And the other, the other one had different species. You can see holes. Let me zoom in here. You can see holes where, where these snakes will go down in the winter. And there's lots of holes. And then look at this hole here. It has a snake skin from a racer. I identified it from a racer going out of that hole. And the snake goes that way or went that way when it shed its skin. So they're hanging out here. One thing that could be happening here too is I saw a lot of big female racers hanging out this in late spring. This could be another place that the snakes are laying eggs. And so that's why we're kind of hoping to find a baby snake. And we'll just kind of sneak around here because baby racers are really hard to see. Oh, if I flip, see I flipped a little board I found. Baby racers are really hard to see and don't move until they're, you're right on top of them and then they disappear and then you can't find them. Oh look, another snake skin. Wow. Another snake skin right here. So there's at least two big snakes shedding their skins. It's another sign that this could be where a female snake laid her eggs. Let's flip over this rock. Later eggs. See the snake skin? And. Alright, I'm gonna give Ashton a little piece of the snake skin, see? The female laid her eggs, and then they always shed pretty much after they lay their eggs. Oh, here's another snake skin. Wow! Look at this place. It's crawling with snake skins. Where are the snakes? Ashton, where are the snakes? So, at least three big snake skins. Uh-huh. Ashton just found a ladybug, he's telling me. Daddy! Uh-huh. Daddy! Yes, son. Look. Okay, you look for it. Show me. All right. We're kind of snooping around in here. Let's get down here in the shade because it's a hot day and a snake wouldn't have to be in the sun very much on a hot day. I'm gonna guess that if we come back here in another two weeks when the racer eggs should be hatching. Oh, flipped a rock and nothing underneath it. Put it back exactly where we found it. We will find baby racers underneath these rocks. There's, I mean, this, the amount of snake skins in here, it's just unbelievable. This is awesome. See that skin, how it goes? Right there. Snake just crawled and came. Snakes, when they shed, I'll have to get a video of that. When they shed, they turn their skin completely inside out. If you can believe it. All right, I'm going to go down here a little bit closer in the shade, a little bit closer to the water where it's cooler. And see if we can find something. This is smart weed, this grass here. And snakes, I found a lot of snakes. I won't say I can say what snake likes or doesn't like, but I found a lot of snakes in these mats of smart weeds. Especially like water snakes and garter snakes. As they get down here at the edge of the water, this, this pile is not very thick. But they'll get down there at the edge. What'd you find? Okay, cool. Ashton keeps finding stuff. Little bugs and things underneath the small logs and rocks that he's flipping over. Maybe he'll find a frog too. This is a good place. We've always seemed to see him find a toad around here. Well, not today, but lots of snake skins showing that snakes use this area. All right, I'm gonna turn off, we'll move on.